to. First, I want to show you Osotogari Sasai Komiyashi combination. I was thinking about how to structure this video. I wanted to show you the best possible judo combinations. And I didn't want you to just memorize one technique going into another. However, I wanted to give you sort of an overarching theme and many different sub-concepts to fill that overarching theme. Uh, and, you know, it was quite a, ch <laughs> a challenge. Uh, but I did decide to sort of give you one combination and talk you guys through it little by little. What are the themes that are at play? What are the mechanics at play? And then I want you to take that information and apply it to your combination. Sometimes you might do a technique here and a technique there, and they might be complementary techniques that work really well together, but I don't do those techniques. And then maybe you don't make that connection. But my goal here is to allow you to use the tools that you already have, integrate them in a synergistic way. So first combination that we're going to look at is Osotogari Sasai. And it's important to distinguish, this is not a tech combination where I go Osotogari, fail, and then come out and do Sasai. This is a very quick misdirection technique where I'm attacking the person's reaction. So let's look at right side versus right side. Advantage here, my hand's higher on the collar, his hand's lower on the collar. Therefore, my Osotogari is very, very dangerous. Let's right, so circle here. I step, pull, lean, and then I reap this leg. Okay, let's just see a very quick Osotogari throw. It's going to be nice and gentle. Take down, pull up. Okay, nice and easy Osotogari. It's right, simple. Uh, we've seen that a million times. Better hand positioning for me. Therefore, my Osotogari is a lot more dangerous. I'm going in this direction, putting all George's weight onto this leg in order for me to reap this leg. George doesn't like this. He's very scared of those Sotogari, especially because he's losing in position. If we're the same in position, he might not be that scared. He might not give me the right reaction for me to attack his side. If he's winning in position, he might welcome my Sotogari attack so he can counter it. All right, so you see this, uh, this is why position is so important in parlaying your first attack into the next attack. I have an advantage. I want to go Osotogari this way. George's reaction is going to be in the opposite direction to counterforce my attack. If I go Osotogari here, he's going to lean into this arm and away from the side that I want to go. My goal is to bring George's weight onto this leg. Okay, let's see that again. All of his weight onto this leg so I could reap this leg. His goal is to shift the weight to the opposite leg. Uh-oh, so now once I reap this leg, it's gonna be very difficult for me to finish this throw here. And I'm sure you've seen Osotogari before, fail many, many times, <laughs> as I've seen it. And a lot of the times, it's George's reaction with his entire body that's gonna make it hard for me to throw. So, no, you gotta resist it. <laughs> okay. So, ah. right, if he doesn't do anything, I'm gonna throw George. So. I go Osotogari once, no reaction, boom. I go Osotogari second time, he resists into the arm. Third installment, it's a side. And he's gonna resist in the opposite direction and I'm gonna bait him and attack that reaction. It's a quick misdirectional technique. Also, we're going to do a three-part series here. Osoto, Osoto defended, and then the misdirection combination, Osoto Sasai. So first, no reaction. Osoto Gary, good night, George. He's going down. Second, he resists. Ah, I can't do it. And then the third action is, I'm attacking this reaction for the Sasai. Right? So that's going to be the Osoto Gary Sasai combination. It's not really like a combination where I'm doing one technique into another technique because you don't want to overly commit. If I bring this leg through and he resists backwards this way, it's going to be very difficult for me to swing this leg around and attack this to side here. Right? So the first part looks like a soto. I'm going for a soto gari and he's resisting into this arm here. And then I'm switching directions here, catching to side and shifting his body weight over this leg. Osoto Sasa. 
right? And of course, once you're capable of hitting this comfortably, you could reverse the technique as well because it's a very complementary two techniques. Let's just look at those to side hands. Neutral position, to side, okay? Let's settle, to side. Oops, missed that leg. To side hit, circle hit, it's a side. And I'm bringing his arm down here, my arm down, and I'm elevating this arm here. One, two, to side. Clearly, he does not want to go this way. When I show him this aside, he's going to resist in the opposite direction. Now I can't throw him in this direction. There's my sword. Right? Sasai, osoro. Osoro, sasai. And both of these things work because you're in dominant position. Similar idea. We're going to look at this from right side versus left side. Kind of getting a long, <laughs> really long segment. Right side versus left side would be inside control, outside control, sleeve. Where is the positional advantage? The shoulder turn. Four crossing, cross body of soda. Right? We've done this before many times. Very simple, very classic stuff. Shoulder turn, post. Danger. George tries to resist by returning this and leaning into my arm, leaning into my arm, thus, can't reach the osoro, tuck this elbow tight to your hip. Yeah, your hip, yeah, ah, very difficult for me to go osoro, all right? So he thinks I'm going for this, and I go for the sasai instead, all right? Same concept, complementary, because it's going in opposite directions, and then same idea, I can go to side and then go across for that osoto guard as well. All right, notice I wanna really make it clear that you have to have an advantage in position before going into these attacks. If we're locked up and then you're going and you guessed the wrong direction, you're gonna guess the wrong. 